Welcome to another episode of Tech Talks. Today we're going to talk about conditional access with Microsoft Intune. The first thing we're going to do is take this iPad that we've set up out of the box and we're going to go ahead and add our email account for the first time. We're going to add Exchange or Office 365. We're going to put in our email address followed by our password and then select Next. I want to step through this process. This should be pretty familiar to you if you've ever added an email account to any iOS device. And what will happen here is when we try to go out and get the messages that we know are in that inbox, instead we're going to receive a message from conditional access that basically states in order to access our email we need to enroll this device. So we click get started now on this email. This takes us out to the iTunes App Store. This allows us to download the Microsoft Intune Company Portal application, which we need to complete this enrollment process. Once the app's installed, we'll go ahead and open this company portal application up. Once the app is open, we'll go ahead and in, again enter in our credentials to authenticate. So we put in our username followed by our password, same as we did for the email we were trying to add. Then we click sign in. Once this authenticates, then we'll start the enrollment process for this iOS device. Here you can see the wizard comes up for that. So we click begin in the upper right hand corner. and this will step us through this device enrollment process. Here you can see that we're enrolling the device. What happens here now is we're going to go ahead and install this management profile. Again, this is similar to any other um, iOS management tool. This isn't anything unique to Intune. And we're going to go ahead and get this management profile installed followed by the certificate. We're going to go ahead and click install and then trust. Then we click done. This flips back over and then we'll see it finish up the enrollment process here. Now on our wizard you can see that device enrollment has been completed and the device is compliant based on our compliance policy we've defined in Intune. And then our enrollment activation is happening. Now you see that we've got three green check boxes, so we can click continue in the upper right corner and then click done, basically saying, yep, everything's been successfully completed, the device is enrolled and compliant. Now if we open up our email, you'll see that if we do a refresh, we'll see our email messages trickle in, showing that our conditional access has been granted. Um, we have successfully enrolled the device and now we have access to our email. Thank you for watching this video. Please feel free to follow me on Twitter at Chris Knack and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos to come. Thank you.